Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today is day eight out of devotionals, out of this devotional book right here. I'm going to start reading right now. It says, And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4.19 There's another God promise here, needs met in riches. So that means you can upgrade your Civic to a Bentley or even better, a vintage Mustang, right? You can expect a brand new wardrobe or even, or you can get unlimited shopping sprees at your local bookstore, electronic store, shoe store, office supply store. Hey, not judging. Not exactly. The Apostle Paul was telling the Philippians that God would meet all their needs as they'd been so generous to Paul and mindful of his needs. So what's the unchangeable promise here for us? Give with an open hand. And our God will return our faithfulness with his generosity. God is capable of great generosity than we can imagine, let alone practice. And his generosity isn't limited to or even focused on material, material things. Is our every want going to be fulfilled? Only if it's what's truly best for us. And usually it's not. Our faithful, unchangeable God always sees the big picture and brings about what's ultimately best for his children. Okay, so now that I'm done with the devotional, I'm going to set this aside, kind of set aside, but if I need it, I will use it. But we need to realize and we need to be reminded that there are things that God closes, there are, there are things that God takes out of our lives and there are, th there are doors that he closes for a reason because he, he knows what is truly best for us and that is not truly meant to be in our lives and that is not truly good for us and it's not what, what truly God wants for us. He wants us to have a, a happy life, happy life, but a happy life in him, not a happy life in the world. Because at the end of the day, the world's not going to be there for us. But God always will be. And we tend to forget how, how like God is there for us every single day. Even though he may, you may not, you may, you may not seem like, it may not seem like God is in here, but he is. He is here with us every single day. With us every step of the way, and we tend to forget how loyal God is to us. With being there for us in our good and bad days, on our normal days, and every single day of our lives. Our God is the unfaithful and unchanging God. And He always sees. The big picture and he brings what's ultimately best for his children he brings about what's ultimately best for his children and our every want's not going to be fulfilled not in god's eyes only what is truly best for us get it our all of our wants are not going to always be fulfilled only what is truly best for us. And I get it that you want things to go a certain way in a situation. Like, for example, you want a friendship to be restored and be fixed. And you want that person to resolve, like to work on themselves. And you want them to... Learn from the mistake, their mistakes and to stop hurting you and to stop making you stressed out, lose sleep, and cry over it. If you're in that very same boat. Um, the best advice I can give you is to give it to God in prayer. Give, give God full control of the situation. Let him take care of it. Let him fight your battles. Let God fight your battles because you shouldn't be fighting those alone. You're not meant to fight those battles alone. You're, God is meant to fight your battles for you. You do not need to fight them on your own. 
He'll be there with you, helping you every step of the way. Whether it's you're losing a very close friend of yours or the friendship is restored or whatever it is that God wants out of it. But you need to trust in God that he is going to bring you out of that situation, out of that tough situation. And then he's going to turn it around for, for his good and for his purpose. And I know it's not easy. You, it, life is never going to be easy. But you need just need to trust God. And you need to continue to put your faith in God and continue to have a relationship with God and don't give up. I tried giving up. Trust me, I tried a lot of times. That led me nowhere. That led me into a place where I never want to be again. And to a very depressed place. And I don't want to be there again at all. So, what I could, I know I've not experienced everything but I've experienced a lot of things in my life that have brought me to a depressing point that I could list but I probably shouldn't because you never know who's watching the video but at the end of the day you just you can't just give up on God because God's never gonna give up on you God will never give up on you he will always fight for you you know, if you know the song, Reckless Love. Um, the overwhelming, reckless love, love, love of God. Oh, it chases me down. Fights till I'm found, leaves the 99. Well, he'll leave the 99 to find the one that is lost. And that might be you. You might be that person today who was wandered far away from God. And you want to go back to God. And you don't know how to and you're scared that if you try to that you're afraid that God is still mad at you or you're afraid God is mad at you and disappointed in you. Well, let me say this. God may be disappointed. He's not mad at you. He might be disappointed, but he still loves you. And he's still waiting for you in open arms and he wants you to come home to him. And to start over and develop a relationship with him again and develop a strong faith in him again and to just trust in him because that's all he's wanted all he he's ever wanted is it's for you to come home it's never too late and you may say oh it's too late you may you may say oh it's too late for me to come home well it's not you're still on this earth. You're still alive and raving. You still wake up every day. It's not too late. If you truly want to have a relationship with God, it's not too late to turn your life over to him. It's not too late to pray to sinner's prayer. It's not too late. Trust me, it's not. But our needs should be focused on on what God wants for us, not our wants that are focused on the world. There's a huge difference when it comes to that. Needs meant for what God wants and wants meant for the world. There is a complete difference. And I would rather have want needs that are what God wants than wants from the world. I don't want what the world wants. I just want to I just want to have a relationship with God and I just I want to live for God and I want to do what he has called me to do. And at the end of the day, you just you can't give up. I've had to try to put that behind me. And I had to put that type of sin behind me because it can turn into sin. And I had to put that behind me and I had to learn. You can't get up. This is what you truly want, not the world. You're just doing this because you're upset and because you're stressed out and you're afraid of turning to God. 
because you're afraid of what he'll the answer he'll give you and you're afraid you're just gonna turn to the world anyways well either way you shouldn't give up on god because like i said he doesn't give up on you so you should never give up on him i try to i try to give up but it never worked for me it never did it never i never got the, I never was satisfied with the world or with the ones that the world gave me. I never fulfilled me, but God will always fulfill me and he will always satisfy me with the wants and needs that that should be placed in my life. And the other things that he doesn't, that he knows I shouldn't have in my life, he'll take out. So, I was kind of long today, but I had a lot to say with that devotional. So, I hope you enjoyed this devotional. I hope God spoke to you. And stay tuned for the next devotional. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, turn on those notifications, stay tuned for all my videos. And I hope you guys have a great day and a great weekend. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!